All right, we are back now checking out the forecast and hoping to get some relief. Candy. Hi, Tammy. Yes, it's coming. Not yet. Uh, today, again, in the triple digits, and it was a very, very hot weekend. Yesterday, 107. Today, pretty close with 106. Here's what it looks like in downtown Bakersfield today. We can see a little bit of a haze in the distance due to the air quality. And yes, I hope you're staying hydrated out there because it's still very, very hot. Uh, currently, 103. Humidity very, very low at 18%, and the winds coming in out of the west, northwest at 18. So, around Kern County, you're looking at triple digits in Leno, 101 in Wasco, one to in Button Willow, 99 out in Taft, 90 in Tehachapi, and 87 in Fraser Park. Our high for today, 106. The average is 97. So we were, well, about 9 degrees above average. And the record is 111, set back in 1942. The sun tonight will set at 815. Not much to show you as we take a look at the regional satellite radar. Very clear up and down the state. No thunderstorms to, to speak of. Uh, mainly right now near Utah, Nevada, and Arizona. But we are in the clear for now. And also, we are in the clear in terms of uh, watches and warnings. So you could see that the heat, excessive heat watch has expired. It was active since Friday, of, since last week. So it looks like things are beginning to cool down. Well, we'll begin to cool down as we head into the next few days. So as far as the air quality today, unhealthy, but it's going to improve a little bit by tomorrow with an AQI of 100. Just keep in mind that during the fireworks, the air quality gets really, really bad. The good news is that we're going to see the winds pick up as we head into to tomorrow afternoon and that is hopefully helps clear out some of that pollution out of the area. So if you have the day off tomorrow and you feel like barbecuing, here it is. You're looking at upper 90s by 3 p.m., 98 degrees by 6, and upper 80s by 9 p.m. because it looks like we might not even hit the triple digits tomorrow. So there is a slight chance that we might tap in the, in the uh, around 98, 99 degrees. So that's better than this weekend. So what is really happening? High pressure is in control right now, but it's beginning to flatten out and it's eventually it's going to sh shift away from us. That is going to be replaced by a trough of low pressure developing out of the Pacific Northwest. This is going to bring cooler weather into the region, which means that we're going to see, well, double digits back in the forecast. And that's good news to hear, especially for the beginning of July. Overnight temperatures in the low 60s tomorrow. Yes, upper 90s in Delano, 98 in Wasco, 98 in uh, Porterville, and uh, 100 in Buttonwillow. So up in the mountains in the current River Valley, you're looking at 93 in Walford Heights, 85 in Fraser Park. Winds gusting at about 40 miles per hour, so it's going to get breezy out there. In 104 will be the high for Ridgecrest, 97 out in Mojave. Here's a look at the extended forecast, and like I said, we got a cool down on the way. And yet we're going to be in the low 90s by the weekend, which might be about 15 degrees cooler than we were this week. So that's really refreshing news to share with you, as you can see, before a warm up arrives by early next week. Fort to hatch be 86 and sunny on 4th of July, remaining in the low 80s as we head into Thursday and Friday and back into the upper 80s by Monday of next week. And finally, Lake Isabella, 94 degrees tomorrow on 4th of July and then low 90s by Thursday and Friday, upper 90s by Saturday and upper 90s by Monday of next week. That's a look at your forecast. More news when we come back.